So the goal here is to use Java Swing to create a JPanel image. Uh, so I wanted to first show you that you want to make sure that you create the right type of file. So it's not just Java, it's going to be Java Swing, uh, which is here. And you can type in that search box to get to that. I've already created a template file for us to look at. Um, now this is valuable too, just in general, when you're talking about uh, including files that you then include in a program, in a web page, whatever it happens to be. Uh, so the first thing is I have my relevant uh, frameworks imported. Uh, I'm basically creating a frame with an image icon, and then that image icon is being put in a J label, and then that label is being added to the frame. And then just the rest of this is basically to make sure it's visible and that it works properly. Um, you'll notice that the key thing here is that I have insert image here. So this is where my image is going to be. And so what I need to do first is I need to get the image into Replit. And the way that I do that, click on the three dots here and choose upload file. And I've got one here called dog.jpg. Um, now you'll notice that when I brought that in, uh, the name is dog.jpg.jpg. And so I may need to rename that if it's in the file name and you're showing extensions. It's very easy to do is click on the three dots and choose rename. And now I have dog.jpg. It's really important, again, uh, to have good practice of making sure that your images have meaningful names and they're not super long. It'll just make it a lot easier for you to insert them. And so in order to put that in here, all I have to do is say dog.jpg. Uh, and the reason why I can do that is because it's in the main folder structure. In a moment, I'll show you how to do it if it's inside of another folder. So I'm gonna run this code. And here in a second, I should see my Frame and there's my dog. Now, by the way, um, this is a resized image already. Um, so keep in mind that the size of the image will uh, change, you know, how the frame looks and you may have to uh, size the frame down in order to make sure that everything's working properly. If you have a very large image, so just keep that in mind when you're creating this. But let's say that dog.jpg is actually in a folder called images. So maybe I have a specific group of images. I can create a folder drag and drop it in there and now you'll need to notice that dog.jpg is actually a sub item in or a child item in the images folder and so if i were to run this right now it would not work because it doesn't search through the folder hierarchy this was on the main level initially so if i'm going to include it i've got to do images slash dog.jpg and then if i run it we should see that nothing changes uh, the dog image should still be there uh, the only difference again is that I used a subfolder and there it is. So um, this is very popular, especially in web development where you have like an images folder and you have all your folders or your images inside of that. Uh, the same is true here. You just have to include the directory, but know that this main directory where things are included, you do not need to put a folder or main or anything like that. It's just the name of the file. And then if you create folders, it's that folder name slash and then the name of the file. So hopefully this was helpful to you in including images in Java Swing.